Roman or Solid Trooper, check them out. Oh, you're so cool. Silo <sighs> and Snow Lord. Wow, he has a Silo. Slice, he doesn't have Glalie yet. Or has Glalie evolved later on? I don't remember right off the top of my head. But I know what's going first. Wow, Umbreon, you're not doing anything help. Like, you're just being useful as a wall, that's it. There goes Silo. Or Celio. How are you pronounce it? I just I pronounce it Celo. But I see Celo Celio. Like I see C and then Leo. So I guess Celio? I remember also too, like when you would have like um like if like right there when you saw my uh, speed go down, like in Gen 3, you, uh, stat changes were color coded, so if your attack rose it was red, if it lowered it was red, if your speed went up it was blue, if your defense went down it was green. I don't know if they're still color coded or not, but I thought that was pretty cool back in the day anyways. The snow run is huge, I just don't realize that. And another Thunderbolt takes it out. Wow, this Ampharos is a heavy hitter. Alright, level 36. Wow, how'd this happen? Because you suck, dude. Like, GTFO. Your Pokemon weren't even decent. I wouldn't even give you my Master Ball for your Pokemon. Nothing here. Uh, we already opened that box. So we just have to fight her. Toady. Seedra and Gloom. And I just happened to swap out... So let's, let's go ahead and go over what's going to happen here. We're going to switch into Entei because Gloom needs to die. And Quagsire is going to switch into Nightganium because Cedra is a bitch. But I just happen... Yeah, I don't know who that pedal dance was going for, too, you dick. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Fire Blast to Gloom. And I don't know if Meganium is faster, but let's try casting a Sunny Day. Well, I know that Seedra's faster. This is going to hurt Entei a little bit. Yeah, Entei was faster. But still, we get the Fire Blast off. That should KO Gloom? Yeah. It does. Alright, so, sweet. Oh, and a Sand Slash, huh? Alright, so now Sunny Day amplifies Fire-type moves and weakens Water. So we're gonna use Bite on... Sand Slash here, and we're going to use Razor Leaf. Yeah, see, it did, did, now it's doing almost, I want to say less than half of what it was doing originally, so that's good. Wow, critical hit bite, that's freaking awesome. And now here comes the Razor Leaf. Decent damage on Seedra. And yeah, that's it for Sand Slash. Alright, level 37, Meganium. 
Sunlight is still strong. So all we gotta do really is just Body Slam Bite. That should do CJ in. Well, I didn't even have to use Body Slam. And I was poisoned by Poison Point. And after all that, my brown still did not level up. No, dancing does not win any battles. You should know this by now. You're a Pokemon trainer. Toady sounds a lot like um, Chris from uh, Pokemon or <laughs> from um. Oh, you know what? What one I'm thinking of? From Pokemon, uh, from the Pokemon movie, uh, of where I had Ryoko, Ryoko, and where Team Rocket was trying to catch it. Yeah, that one. That's a pretty good one. And again, another Pokemon that I am type of like, quad effective against. Look at that! Seriously. So we're in the same boat like we were last round. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go into him. Bite on Cacnea. Switch Quagsire out to Ampharos. Bite. It flinched. Sweet. That's hilarious. Um, bite again, and Thunderbolt will take a cool. Yep. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, it needs to die. And we're gonna try Thunderbolt one more time. If we get hit by a dive. Ha! Huh. Get poo pooed on. Finally, level 35. And Thunderbolt. Quagsire leveled up. That's awesome. Alright, so we still gotta level up Umbreon. Because he's, he's still pretty low. Second highest level Pokemon is Meganium at 37. So... No, I don't need the PDA. Oh, that um, strategy memo. This is all the Pokemon we've encountered so far. And they're all alphabeticalized. And you don't have to keep going back to get this updated. So I, I was watching from a different um, Let's Play that he said that you had to go back. You don't. I just found it out myself, so just now that you didn't have to go back <laughs> so yeah oh yeah we're gonna look at our Pokemon uh, Umbreon's team needs to level up um, let's take a look at levels real quick <sighs> oh what am I doing yeah okay Oh, the battle we had before was a whole lot of fun. Hey, did you come back to battle with me again? Watch, you're gonna be like twice as strong as you were before, and you're gonna push my shit in. Corkfish and Goldeen. Okay, maybe not as strong. Okay, but this battle's gonna take forever. 
since I have Quagsire. I Um, secret power on poor fish and a slam. Let's just see if we can do this. Yeah, if I went for Ampharos, that would have weakened my moves. Yeah, I fucking hate slam. Wow, he doubled. He doubled Mudsport. So that makes electric type moves just pretty much almost useless. Where are you going? Oh, good. Missed. But I bet you anything I'm gonna miss. That's gonna hit Umbreon. Oh, wow. Surprising. And it's gonna miss. How did I know? I'm so good at this game, guys. I'm so good. Well, at least we got the 1.5 multiplier on that. This is a stab bonus, or stab boost. Same type attack bonus. And in place of that Pokemon we snagged, it is a Lanoon. So if you snagged Quillfish, there it is. But if you couldn't capture Quillfish, you get another chance to. And we are sucking it up with Quagsire right here. And it also has Mud Sport, which is, wow. Really? Maybe Golden Flinches. Nope. More attack. Decent damage. I'm confused. Hey, but I missed Slam again. Maybe I should just use Surf. Oh boy. Okay, good, that wasn't a critical. Another horn attack. And we use Surf. Sweet. It's not gonna kill Goldine, I know that much, but hey, at least we got an attack in. Slam apparently isn't doing anything. If that slash is a critical, it's gonna suck. Okay, good. Alright, for another bite. And I'm still confused. Hey! And it missed. I swear, dude. Um, this is confusing, right, actually. Yep, there's that critical. Wow, look at that, dude. Freaking Umbreon is a champ. And I still missed. How many times have I used Slam? Uh, I'm gonna heal up. Actually, no. I'm gonna try doing a bite and then healing. I mean, look, I've used it five times and missed all five times. Slam has to be one of the worst moves ever. Like it really is. That's a really low accuracy rate. Ding. Yeah, suck it, Lanoon. bite again and you slam. Maybe this time we'll actually hit something. Yeah, 12 damage, or 22 damage. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Alright, with the bite. And the slam. Hey, it hit. Finally. I know, my reaction too when I miss. Fucking slam. I'm cussing. It's good to be back. That... That was fun. 
you're a dude with a skinny wiener. Skinny wiener. Oh yeah, I love strong guys. Wait, I said love, but don't get the wrong ideas. It's bromance, dude. There's nothing gay about it. I, I feel you. I feel that love. It better not be up against my hip. So uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's gonna take a little bit. <laughs> we all have we have monotype Pokemon except for Quagsire, who is water ground. Yeah, but um, let's see. Entei, looking pretty beefy there. How long have I been at? I haven't been at this. About 46 minutes. Okay. A little bit longer, too, because I had to look at something. Mm. But yeah, next episode, we're going to go back in here, and we're going to, or yeah, we're going to go back into the mine and figure out just what is in the mine. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next episode, bye bye.